in South America for about three months, and I met a little kid who blew me away. One night we were sitting in an all-night chicken stand, me and my buddies that were down there, and we looked outside, and there was this little kid sitting outside. So we went out and talked to him, brought him some chicken. Um, he didn't have any shoes. So we said, we'll meet you back at the mall, a little shopping mall, um, tomorrow. And um, we bought him some tennis shoes. And uh, he comes walking up to us at the right time, a little sack of soap. And he said, why, why you got this soap? And he's like, well, I'm going to wash my feet. So we went to the little mall bathroom, and, and he rolled up his pants. And, and um, I washed this little kid's feet that were blistered and calloused and torn up from living on the street. I found out later that, that his mom had died and his dad had left him, driven him to the in, to downtown and, and said, get out of the car, I, I don't want you anymore. And there's, there's hundreds and thousands of kids like that in South America and there's probably a lot like that in the United States. And it was real hard for me to um, to talk to him because of my limited Spanish. I took him to see a movie, Jesus of Nazareth, and um, he cried and cried when, when Judas betrayed Christ. And I tried to, I tried to tell him that, that this man, this, this man who was God, died for him, and he died for me, and it was okay because he had a Heavenly Father. And wherever he is now, I, I don't know. I only hope that God has him in his care. On a downtown street, shivering in the cold. Dirty clothes and no shoes on his feet. He was only nine years old. He said that his name was Wilson as he smiled to hide his shame. Well, he needed a friend, so I reached out my hand, but I couldn't touch his pain. Yes, he needed a friend, so I reached out my hand, but he, but I could not touch his pain. You try and talk about a love of a heavenly father to a boy who's been deserted. Can you show me how? Well, I know about eternal life, but for Wilson. Is it worth it? He's barely living now. Wilson, hold on. Though at times I wonder why. I know it seems easier to run away and hide. Every tear that falls down here gets counted up in the sky. In the sky. Up in the sky. For everyone who walks this earth, who passes through your life. Always takes a little part of you and leaves something behind. Wilson, I hope you remember me wherever you are. Cause your laughter still fills my dreams and your tears, they still burn my heart.
Yeah. 